<laughs> it's a wonderful game. I'm too good for all these nutcases. <laughs> much around here you could freeze your buns off with a nice shawl yeah i'll keep that in mind you got a favorite color let me know okay okay better dime it's my bet <laughs> you're a better hand showing you do stupid why'd you have to be such a stick up the details did any of you guys ever play cards before you got here i did what crazy eights <laughs> Bridge, there's just some sophistication to that game. It's not merely luck. None of you guys knows your backside from your elbow. I bet 30 cents. I don't have enough. So you're out. No, this is boring. <laughs> It's just you and me, I don't have no wish to play. Oh. Get yourself on, man. Okay. Yeah, I need to see. You like playing a little head to head? I'm oh, fresh out of matches. Oh, hell, I'll end some. Okay. Five cards to it. Ben Jewing, JR. Morrissey. Emma Scott Morrissey. <laughs> you ever heard of me? Should I have? Yeah, well, I used to be a pretty big wheeler dealer over in San Antonio. Nothing moving that town without me. How'd you end up here? Silver man for uh, fooling around with one of my girls. My cop is Lady. Temporary insanity. <laughs> <laughs> and they bought it. How'd they treat you here? I'll tell you, it's better being in jail, but uh, there's one serious problem. What's that? Well, let me put it like this. <laughs> On the outside, there wasn't a night went by, I didn't have a woman. Being in here, crazy. Huh? Okay. I mean, with all those good looking brides practically right next door, and uh, I'm lucky if I can get in there once a month. <laughs> but you can't get in. Yeah, right through the door over there. Come on. That goes to a corridor. I'll lead you right to heaven. Isn't the door locked? <laughs> yeah, but uh, you do a little scratch on the door and somebody opens it. Well, you never know for sure, but... Uh, <laughs> You're always real happy to see a man. How about the attendance? Man, I'm talking about late at night. There's only a couple around you can miss them. Morrissey, go on back to your card game. You ain't gonna see anything. Go on. Well, I just might give that a try. Hey, don't you even think about it. Well, you said you can get it. That's right. <laughs> Me. Let me explain something to you. That's my own personal little hair I'm in there. And nobody screws around with what's mine. You got that? Yeah, I got it. You don't have to worry about me.
I don't think you can, JR. I would stick you with a bad check. Not if he wanted me out of his life, which he does. And believe me, he's gonna get his wish. Like how? I'm going back to Katie, you know. I pay off the farm and live there in real style. Be back with my brother. And one thing for sure, old JR Ewing wouldn't dare come after the baby then. Why not? That sheriff would have him in jail so fast he wouldn't know what hit him. I don't like it. What? <laughs> You're carrying around my little half-brother or sister in there. How can you even think of taking them away from what's rightfully theirs? That 200000 J.R. gave you is only a drop in the bucket. I bet he was counting on you running back to Haley. It doesn't look to me like I've got much choice. The hell you don't. You can hit him where it really hurts. Let's hire the best divorce lawyer in town. You can get a fortune out of him. Nice public divorce to show the world how right he is. You know what? <laughs> Don't you know? Maybe what can't be just running off. Well, I'm gonna show Mr. J.R. Ewing what a mistake he made. Ewing Oil, good morning. Jackie? It's Bobby. Hi, Bobby. How's London? Oh, it's great. Would you tell everybody we arrived safe and sound? Will do. Although James is the only one I'm expecting today, JR is off on vacation somewhere. Well, good. I hope he stays gone until I get back. Anyway, we dropped the boys off with Sue Ellen. Are you on your way to Paris? No, I think we're going to stay here a couple of days. We're at the Athenaeum <laughs> if you need us. And uh, I'll let you know when we get to Paris. Have a great honey, then. We already are. Goodbye. Bye. Well then, let's start by learning a little more about you. J.R. That's John Ross, is that correct? John Ross Ewing. Same as my daddy, same as my son. You act like you never heard of me. Well, I hadn't. And whoever you thought you were on the outside, Mr. Ewing, doesn't matter in here. What is this? Abandon hope, all ye who enter here? Unless you can prove otherwise. <laughs> So you're a junior. I was. Oh. I'm a second now. <laughs> Did that bother you when you were growing up? What? Being a junior, living in your father's shadow. What does that got to do with anything? Was well, your father a successful man? <laughs> Damn right he was. Most successful independent oil man in the Southwest. Well, big footsteps for you to follow him. You're getting this up. Well, I'm just looking for the cause of your behavior. <laughs> well, it sure as hell is not my daddy. Hell, he, he was like a god to me. Oh and made me feel inferior by comparison. No, I'm not inferior. I just always wanted to make him proud of me, and that's not the idiot. Yeah. Most of the time. Very good. Well, that's all for today. I think we've made an excellent start. <laughs> okay. Oh, say, just uh, one more thing. Yes. About the other patients. I know this is high security here. Just how dangerous are the other people in my ward? Well, in this area, everybody's on his best behavior. If they follow the rules and don't cause any trouble, they stay in this way. And if they cause trouble? They're moved to another area where we can control them much more closely. I trust it's one that you'll never have to see. Oh, I never will. Unless one of those fruitcakes does something funny around me. Now, uh, Mr. Ewing, these are people we're trying to get back on the path to mental health. You, after all, are one of them. <laughs> or don't you think so? Well, I suppose if I was totally sane, I wouldn't be where I am, would I? Not a medical one. Well, until next time, do your best to fit in. Hmm? Trust me. Just be one of the gang.
tried to buy her off for a couple hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand? That's a jumping off place. So we can nail him, right? Considering his net worth and the way he's treated you, Kevin, I think we have a very interesting case. So let's get started. Yes, I guess we better. So the way he's acting, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if J.R. were to get ready to file against Kevin right away. So, uh -oh. we get to beat him to the bunch. I'll start preparing the papers immediately. <laughs> so that we serve him first. That way, we'll be the ones who file for the divorce. Well, there's a little problem. Yeah? He's gone somewhere, and he didn't tell anyone where. Undoubtedly, he is lying low. But he doesn't know where I am either. And you keep a very low profile for the next few days. In the meantime, let's look at JR. Someone must know where he is.
get some of me. I'd like to see matches. Now I'm gonna kill you. Help! Help! Mercy, you know where you guys are going now. I'm gonna get you, Joey. I'm gonna catch you. Let me catch you. Let me catch you. Let me catch you. Let me catch you. He tried to kill me. What kind of place is this anyhow? What are you doing here, Joey? You know it's off limits. Well, I tried to go to the bathroom. I lost my way. Yeah, but you lost the way right to the women's wing. Oh, is that what that is? No wonder it was locked. Don't do it again, or you'll end up in the same place Morrissey's going. No, where's that? No. A very nice place. The real bad cases end up there. Sometimes they make it back out, sometimes they don't. Hey, listen, it was an accident. What would I want in the woman's way? Hey, don't get smart with me. Don't let me catch you wandering around here at night. You got me! Alright, fine. You'll never see me here again, I guarantee you. And tomato juice. Don't forget the tomato juice. Can you hold my can for me, please? Yeah, I thought pregnant women wanted pickles and ice cream. I don't know about that. I need tomato juice. Can you hurry? <laughs> you think this is going to happen a lot? How do I know? I've never had a baby before. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's the first for both of us. It's true, I guess it is both of us. You don't mind me talking to you all the time? Hey, that's a relative of mine you're carrying, but I think by the time that little sucker's born, I'm gonna feel more like the father than the brother. <laughs> you know, sometimes I kind of forget that you are Jay, our son. Yeah? And who do you think I am? About the best friend I've ever had in my life. And more than that, I, I really do care about you. Hey, just because you're pregnant, don't start getting mushy on me. I just want to be sure you know how special you are to me. I do. But I got a full day ahead of me. You got enough ice and juice to last you? I think so. Okay. I'll call you in a while just to make sure. Okay. Maybe it's the ass in the tomato juice you need. Yes. 